Welcome to the first time setup guide for the PicPic Social Sharing Station. My name is Sheo Masori, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up PicPic Social so that you can use it as a sharing station with your 360 DSLR or mirror photo booth. To set up the sharing station, there are six basic steps that we need to get through. The first step is to create a PicPic Social account. The second step is to create your sharing event. And the third step is to download and install the device server. The fourth step will have us configure the device server once it's installed. The fifth step will have us download the sharing station to your iPad or PC. And in the sixth step, we're actually going to run the sharing station and perform our first share. To create your PicPic Social account, go to PicPicSocial.com and click on the sign up button. Fill out the sign up form and then click sign up. Once you're logged into your PicPic Social account, click on the button that says new event. And from the options you have available, click Sharing Station. On the general form, you're going to fill out the basic information for your event. The most important thing on this page is the event date. When you're creating your event for real, make sure that you're setting the correct event date. Otherwise, your photos will have a watermark on it. If you want to use PicPic Social for your online gallery, make sure that you leave the online gallery option enabled. Click Next to continue. On the sharing page, you'll see the options that you have to enable for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email, text, and for printing. You can enable the sharing options that you actually want to use for your own event. For this sample event, we're going to leave everything alone and not change anything, and we'll click continue. On the branding page, you can customize each of the screens of the PicPic Social Sharing app. But again, for this demo, we're going to leave this area alone, and we'll click continue. The add-on page allows you to do other advanced options with the PicPic Social Sharing Station. These aren't things that are needed for most photo boothers, but if you do find that you need to enable any of these, you can check the add-on section in our help guides to understand all of these features and how to set them up. For now, just click Save. Now that you've finished creating your event, we'll move to your photo booth computer and install the PicPic Social device server. To install the PicPic Social device server, go to PicPicSocial.com. In the menu, click the Downloads link. From the Downloads page, under Pick, Pick Share, click the Download button. You'll be brought to the Downloads page for the device server and for the sharing station. From here, click Download under the device server. From here, click the Downloads button so that it downloads to your computer. And you might get a notification that this is an uh, uncommonly downloaded file. To bypass that, click the More Actions button and then choose Keep. If you get this additional warning, click the show more and then click keep anyway. Once the download is finished, you can go to your downloads folder and then double click on the installer file to begin the installation process. You might get this message, click on more info and then choose run anyway. And then we'll go through the installation process. Once the installation is complete, click finish to launch PicPic Social. Now that PicPic Social is installed and running, you'll want to log into your PicPic Social account. It's a good idea to click Remember Credentials and to keep me signed in so that every time you launch PicPic Social, you'll automatically be signed into your account. Once you're logged in, you'll see that the demo event that we created is listed in the events list. If you don't see the event here, you can always press the update button to make sure that PicPic Social connects to the server and then downloads the event again. Now, the next thing that we need to do is add our watch folder to the event. The watch folder is the folder where your photo booth software will be saving your photos, videos, and GIFs. For this demo, we'll be using Spinner 360 and we'll be selecting that folder as the watch folder. So click add and folder is automatically selected. So we'll click next and next the folder path, we'll click select folder and Spinner 360 saves all its files to the C drive. So you can get to the C drive by clicking this PC and then double clicking the C drive to enter it. And then we'll choose Dezentech Spinner 360, Outputs, and then Done MP4. So we need to make sure that Done MP4, or whichever folder it is that you're choosing, is here. 
you're not going to see any of the videos here because we're not selecting any files we're just selecting the folder so click select folder and then click OK and you'll see that the folder has now been added to your watch folder list so a few things to remember before we perform the next step right now we're on the trial so it says subscription is per event and it also says applied overlay is draft because you're on the trial any folders or any videos that you load onto the sharing station will have a watermark on it that says draft from here click start it has detected that we have video files already in the watch folder and it's asking us if we want to upload it to our cloud click yes all right now in the sharing station we're using PicPic social on the ipad we're going to go to the app store and search for PicPic social and then download PicPic social Before we open PicPic Social, we want to confirm that the sharing station, which is an iPad in this scenario, is connected to the same wireless network as the photo booth computer. My iPad is connected to WaterFam, and I've confirmed that my photo booth computer is also connected to WaterFam. When you launch PicPic Social, you're going to be greeted with the first time setup screens. It's going to ask you if this is your first time. This is your first time, so remember if you're looking for any information on how to use PicPic Social, go to pickpicksocial.com forward slash start. Always make sure that you disable your firewalls on your photo booth computer. This is one of the issues that people typically run into when they're using PicPic Social. If you have McAfee or Avast or any other firewall that's running on your photo booth computer, you're going to need to disable it or uninstall it in some instances to make sure that PicPic Social works properly. Never rely on venue Wi-Fi. One of the biggest issues that people have at events using PicPic Social is that they're using venue Wi-Fi. Venue Wi-Fi typically has firewalls on it or other settings that you yourself or the event manager or the venue manager or your client won't be able to change. So because of that, it's always best that you always bring your own hotspot. You want to make sure that you always bring a dual band hotspot to all of your own events and that you never rely on venue Wi-Fi. Another thing to make sure that you understand about PicPic Social is that if you're at an event and your internet speeds are slow, people won't get their photos, video, or GIFs instantly. Instead, anything that needs to be delivered to your clients will be stored in the queue that is located on the PicPic Social device server that is running on your photo booth computer. Now, when you get to the screen, PicPic Social is asking to find and connect the devices on your local network. Make sure you click OK to allow it and give it access. Once you've done that, press the try again button so that PicPic Social can try to find your photo booth computer on the network. With the photo booth computer now found, my photo booth computer is named photo booth computer, so I touch it from the list, and now it's asking for the password for photo booth computer. I haven't set a password on the device server, so just click sign in. If this is your very first time using PicPic Social, there's not going to be a password, just click sign in. Now that the sharing station is connected to the photo booth computer, the video files are starting to download. You can add one or more videos to share by clicking the green plus button. When you're ready, press next. And on the sharing screen, you can select Facebook, Twitter, or email, since these are the sharing options that we enabled when we set up the event. I'm gonna choose email. And from here, I'm going to type in an email address to send the files to. Once we press send, you'll get a confirmation screen and then you can press finish to go back to the uh, sharing screen. Now, what you'll notice if you're paying attention to the photo booth computer on the sharing queue tab, any share that you send from the sharing station will end up in the sharing queue. Here we have the shares that I have done from the sharing station listed here. I've frozen the screen, so this is just a screenshot so that you can see what it looks like. So when I mentioned earlier that if you're in a situation where your internet is very slow, you'll see that you'll have this queue full of all of the shares that need to be processed. If you're at your event and your guests are telling you that, you're, that they're not getting their files immediately, you can just go to the sharing queue 
and you'll be able to sh see the shares that are listed here. Let your guests know that the files will be sent and they'll have them either before the end of the night or the next morning, whenever it is that you will connect to better internet.